Hi guys, hi Terry, hi Moika, hi Masi, hi Mom. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. Uh, I hope you can hear me fine. Just let me know. Hi Anne. Can everybody hear me? Yes, you hear me, Terry. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm just. Um, ready to begin. Hi, Karen. And I thought I'll set up to go live a few seconds before so that I can manage all these technical things here. So how are you guys? How is everybody doing? I hope you all have been having fun watching the live stream so far. Good, okay, glad, glad to hear that. And I'm just adjusting my screen a little bit. I hope that Zoom is fine. Yes, I think that works well. Hi, Olga. <coughs> Olga, don't be mad, but I'm going to use green today. <laughs> You'll be creating something while you watch Terry. That's amazing. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Simona. Hi, April. Hi, Crystal. Yay, you're here. Okay, you're working. You're here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's begin. So, today I thought I'd just make a canvas, a mixed media canvas. Hi, Belinda. Okay, hi, hi, hi to everybody. So, yes. So, today I decided to make a canvas and um, I had this rather odd size in my stash uh, this is about four inches by 12 inches and it's like a panel and uh, i decided that this would be a great idea for the stream today um, what i also had in mind is spring and it's great that a few of us have been doing spin spring projects today Hi Vesalis, thank you so much. I'm glad you could make it. And um, I realized that this year I haven't really created a spring project. So I thought today should be the day where I bring out all the possible shades of green. Olga, that's for you. And do something spring, spring related. So first up, I've already primed my canvas. I've used clear gesso to prime it. And um, that, then I'm ready for my next process. So the first thing, I want to actually create a nice whitewash effect. But it's not whitewash, it's like a lemon yellow wash. So the yellow is going to be my... Uh, white today so i'm using this impasto paint lemon peel but i need very very little <clears throat> on my work surface misting it with water so that it's not um too thick no 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 i'm still the purple team i'm still the purple team it's just for today i'm using green I never ditch purple. So don't worry about that. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much. Hi, Fra. Hi, Maninder. Okay, so I'm also going to mist my canvas with water and do a light color wash. So like I was saying, I don't need too much color. In fact, this is quite bright. So I'm going to lift a bit of um, using a baby wipe so, oh green is that <laughs> Karen green is your favorite color both the Karens okay Karen Karen hi 
Hi Jess. Okay, so just lifting up a little bit with my baby wipe because I don't want too much of that color. Like I don't want it to be that vibrant. I just want it light and gentle. I think that looks good and again I'll just lift off a little bit and I'm quite happy with that. Next I need to dry this. Gosh, yes, I know, right? You see the plastic knife. I again couldn't find my palette knife. And then I was like, oh, I'll have to use the plastic palette knife today. Oh, you reminded no no about it. Okay, I'm, I promise I'm going to find those metal knives. I found them last week. Then I can't find them again this week. So I promise that after the live is over, I'll actually go fetch them and put them here where I work so that this issue is not yeah i put it aside i put it aside and i promise i'll take it out only when it's time to use it okay so i want a little yellow here on the edges and i'll show the canvas because of its odd size i can't really get it to fit in the entire uh, screen so just a little on the edges here where it's darker but fades and like you can see, I'm just using my baby wipe to blend it. Okay, Nitish is on the computer, guys. And he's also, I, I see he's putting in a few comments. So I hope you're enjoying that. Uh, cake. No, we don't have cake today. I hope nobody is bringing it as well. Okay, that should be it. Now, what I'm going to do is, so, I picked two hexagon pattern stencils here today for uh, my canvas. Hexagon, um, I also wanted to use hexagon shapes in the form of chipboard, but I didn't do that. That would be too much. And um, hexagon because while I was talking to Nunu, she reminded me how hexagon are a significance of nature so this is one geometric shape which definitely is so uh, what do i say evident in nature like beehives and the water molecule structure itself hi cindy happy to have you here so hexagon oh yeah guess what okay thank you mom no no look 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 no no fro everybody look so mom heard me and she fetched those metal palette knives and she sent them for me to work with thanks mom so no no i can use these yeah right okay so i picked hexagons for that and yes thank you for those prize possessions um so oh, yes, so I also, yeah, I was saying, <laughs> um, yeah, I picked a bigger pattern as well as a smaller pattern and I'll show you why. So first up, I'm going to use the big one. Yes, I think Nunu had a little shocker there and then she's, if she was standing, she just fell and now she's okay. So... Now I'm going to use gold acrylic paint. So you can use any uh, gold that you have. And add this bigger stencil pattern. Again, I'm using my baby wipe for this. Just randomly adding the pattern which is going to be my first level of texture, bringing in this dimension. So, 
again randomly but today i i mean i'm not covering up the entire surface just adding it randomly and i love the highlights so i'll shift the stencil and once i'm done i'll of course pick it up and show it to you all most of this with the layers as usual is going to hide and i know i want my focal around here so i'll make sure to add the stenciling on the side where a little bit of it peeks through and is visible <laughs> thank you <laughs> as super hands no i guess it's just practice so i think you can see that i'll lift it up a little bit and show it to y'all so that is my first level of texture there uh crystal this is a flat canvas just a flat piece of canvas I'm just going to wipe away the paint from my stencil. I can't run to the bathroom like Mumu does, and <laughs> and now for the next level. Okay, Nitish was looking at me, so I thought he wants to say something, but he doesn't. So this is done. Now with my third stenciling. this dries pretty fast because i've hardly used paint so i don't have to really uh, bother about getting all of that dry and with my next stencil ideally i wanted to use uh, matte gel here is it buffering from oh somebody press <laughs> did somebody press a thumbs down Okay, I have my first thumbs down ever. I think so. No, no. <laughs> um, all good. Okay, great. No buffer. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I wanted to use three D matte gel, but I don't have that. So I'm going to use this glossy gel that I have. This one is from Stamperia. and this also does the trick it's just that it's going to be glossy but it's okay i don't mind that oh that was done before i even started wow <laughs> so now my next hexagon pattern with this gel again randomly but making sure i don't add it where my layers are going to be thick so again just a little because this gives good texture especially when i go in with those sprays Yes. Thank you, Crystal. Okay. So, just adding a little more. I think my gloss gel is also kind of on the stage of dying, but luckily, I've almost used up the jar. I like that and I'm going to come in with this texture down here Just a little bit and that's about it So 
So now I can just clean up the table a little bit. I'm not yet cleaning those paints out there because I can, um, I think I'd use them later for a little splatter. So that done. Um, I can show it to you all. Somebody is asking. This is the glossy gel heavy body base by Stamperia that I have. Now I didn't use modeling paste. Oh, although I did keep some here. And I could. That's a good idea. Thank you for reminding me. Since my gloss gel is almost dry and I don't have enough. I could just go in with the same stencil with a little bit of modeling paste because I'd like that texture there just a little bit that looks good to me a little bit on the top here that's okay uh, did you guys see Katya's canvas I think it was so amazing like I just remembered it flashed in front of my eyes the color combination of that blue with uh, that rust wow oh thank you Tanya it's okay uh, you know these things happen and yes uh, Vessel is I use I like to use that glossy gel for my gluing down also which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today so let's quickly dry this texture This needs to dry really well so I'm just going to take a quick moment to get that dried otherwise when I use my uh, sprays it's all just going to uh, get squishy and run around. Okay, now I do have a few elements prepped up. Um, initially, I wanted to use some sisal. I think that's how it's called, sisal, sisal, whatever. But I don't have that. I think it's over. And what I have is this coconut husk. 
coconut fiber so this is what i'm going to be using apart from that i have some die cut elements here i have used um, different dies creative expressions prima scrap box and things like that but just mainly leaves and um, fronds so that we can get some springy um, elements here so that of course i have flowers leaves all of that but i also have this nice piece of tree bark and i love the shape of it so i thought i'd use this um as my first element for the canvas so i'm going to glue that down in place before even i begin adding my uh, green color before i go in with green color so i'm going to use the glossy gel as a glue here a nice big chunk does the trick for such elements of course you can use glue gun too but i always end up burning my fingers with the glue gun so this works for me and that's down in place there and i need it for my coconut husk as well so and that kind of glues very well in instantly i think um prevody maybe you should refresh the screen and it would work because i think it's working fine here isn't it guys i think it's working fine So next up now also did i already mention yeah so i have these chipboard elements these are dusty attic chipboards so dragonfly would be a great focal for my springy canvas so i'm just going to set that aside for now and come in with my green so i'm using luscious lime uh bells of island green and green with envy green so these are the three shades This gel doesn't take too long, Maninder. It's quite fast to glue down such heavy elements. That's the reason why I love using that. It's like uh, even Finnabe's heavy body gel. That it's just the same thing. I mean, it works the same way as what I mean. So now for my green, I'm also going to pick out some paint brushes because I'm going to. just going with the color from the bottle and again lightly just misting the canvas i begin with luscious lime first and dabbing it with the paint brush if you all can yeah it's in view it just moves very well around that texture we've created with the glossy gel as well as the modeling paste and i'll also keep misting it so that it's not too bright I can move it around to let it seep through, and wherever I'd like to, I can just go back in, pick it with my baby wipe, and I'm going to go in with bells of Ireland green because that is going to bring about the shimmer, that shine. For now, I'll add little bit. Once my elements are glued, I can always then go back in with more color.
yes i will um i'll upload the material list i haven't yet done it but i'll add it once the live stream is over so all the things that i'm using are going to be mentioned there now what i love about this technique yes uh, this is a bark karen this is a tree bark please i can to bring it up close the fact that i used acrylic paint as my base there as well as gold acrylic makes sure to shine through all this liquid spray color that i'm adding so i can still see the gold there but the green also on top of it as another translucent layer so just a little bit of the bells of island green and here add mist it with water move it about and i think that looks good so far a little bit with um the green this what is this what did i say it was green with any green just for that darker tone not too much just a little tad bit because that also has a nice shimmer and it's going to bring in the shades of green so a little bit on the top as well and i think for now that's good i'll quickly dry it and close my bottles now with that done um i can now glue in my coconut husk here the coconut fiber oh no wait before i forget i want some black texture which i'm going to do with some black stamping so i have i have a few of these uh what are these mini clear stamps finnaver's mini clear stamps with me and i'm going to just use a few of them with black archival ink and just add a little texture thank you sky blue Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, guys. Oh, this bark. Now I don't know. It. I. I will. I had it in my stash, so I don't really know. Um. I think once we had uh, when we were cleaning our garden, we had this tree bark, and we just kept those things because mom and I, like most of us here, tend to. Uh, pick. i mean save up all of these things because we think that it would be a good use in mixed media thank you masi thank you rika yes no no come you guys come and pick some i have loads of these things oh terry you know what 
just send me your address once the lockdown is over i'll ship this canvas to you okay so now i'm just going to randomly add a little bit of this black texture of course it goes on my uh, stenciled texture there but that looks good too i don't mind this is again the honeycomb stamp here huh? more of hexagons i guess so that done i don't want another of such a texture but i'll go in with my favorite messy script of course people by now you all know me no project of mine is complete without me using this messy script stamp even if it's not visible i just need it somehow i think that looks good to me so i can set this aside and now i can go back go back to using uh, the gloss gel and glue down the husk so i'm just going to use a thick mask of the paste oh i can't oh i was i was actually telling terry that's dream woods butterfly that i'll send it to her but i can't karen are you serious then maybe we wait for that day when we all meet but i'll still try i'll check so just coiling it a bit but leaving it again abrupt and random i've glued that down in place I'm going to use a little bit of the gel here on the bark so that stays and now i can just go in with a little splatter of gold but that's dry so i can leave it for now and actually wipe it off and okay i have a good half an hour it's about my layer so i'm just going to place elements and see what i like where before i even begin coloring them because since i'm keeping this very uh, how do i say not too bright a little toned down i am going to keep a few of my die cuts white as well so i'm just going to play around with what element i want where and the, depending on its placement maybe i can see what color would look good also what i've done is the same die cuts i've cut them onto some vellum white vellum because in such a project again vellum adds different layers and uh, brings in this contrast that i'm looking for hi cindy cindy this is just a tree bark a piece of tree bark so Okay, I wanted to add my little white doily here. That will form the base, basically. And I think I'll glue that down. So for this, I'm going to use tacky glue. Little offsetting it so that it peaks. out slightly from the canvas i 
Thank you. This is basically a Prima marketing dye. So you can cut your own doilies with it. And I'm just going to keep a bottle there so it stays glued. Um, bring in all my elements that I'd like to layer. I also have these flowers. And actually these flowers were what I really wanted to use on the canvas. So I have a yellow and I have this tealish tone. Not the exact greens that I've been using with these um, teal tones. Which I think will bring about more contrast as my focal there. Initially I thought of using purple. But then I couldn't find purple flowers. And I was too lazy to change colors. So then I thought this would work well for me. So with that down in place, I'm just going to work around what I'd like where as I was earlier doing. So I think that would look good there. And I want, basically I want these flowers somewhere here and I want my dragonfly on top of them like that. So then I can just insert all of these other elements one by one and I can actually begin gluing them down. So this big die cut leaf, this is a scrap box die and I'm just going to push it under the wooden bark there. And um, basically I've added glue just on the bottom part of the stem so that it stays a little uprooted here. No worries April, I'm so glad you could make it here. Um, yes, Terry what I'll do when I'm adding my supply list in the description box, I'll link it all down so that it's easy for you to find them. Also, a lot of these dyes that I'm using are very, very old. So I don't really know if they're still available or not. But I'll still try and find links and link them in the description box. So that and another of these can go down here to kind of balance it out. Hi Jayashree, um, absolutely no worries, you can always go back and watch the replay. I'm happy that you're here. So that goes down there. And I would like to add a little bit. I think of this lemon yellow to this particular branch like the watered version itself and then I'll go in with some shimmer so I'll just show that what I'm going to do but I want this lemon yellow base instead of the white there. I had gessoed these chipboards so that I don't have to do that during the live. Just makes life easy. see the bark I'm going to leave a part of it but yeah that's just how layers go right okay this is almost dry and I'm going to use this one uh, this is ginger magic acrylic sparks my favorite of the sparks colors because it gives a great golden yet um, I don't know, orangey tone. Yes, the dragonfly is a is is a dusty attic chipboard. 
So I'm just going to use that. And this makes my chibot piece shine and shimmer and bring that little bit of the golden orangey color. As a nice contrasting layer. that looks good to me and that can go down there peeking through so I'll just glue that down in place uh, Cindy this is a dusty attic chipboard the dragonfly is a dusty attic chipboard down there and of course um, I'm going to just make sure that these intertwine so I know where I'm having them and that way the bark also peeks through from there and I'm just going to add my fronds maybe this vellum leaf somewhere underneath here even here actually that looks good so again a little bit of the tacky glue um, Jayashree um, I buy them directly from the Dusty Attic website. I I think in India, Crafters Corner used to have them earlier, I'm not too sure. But uh, I do know Dadarkar Arts used to bring some of the Dusty Attic chipboards. So, but they don't have too many designs. So I directly buy them from the Dusty Attic website and shipping is pretty cheap from Australia. Uh, I mean from Dusty Attic website it's never too much so it's never been a problem for me and all I'm doing is just adding these layers these delicate fronds um, these are the die cuts and I'm leaving them white I'll add color to them later just with the Lindy sprays because I don't want too much color really. Thank you, Nikki. I don't know if I said hi to you, Nikki. I didn't see you earlier, but hi. And I'm just wondering since this is not yet down in place, if I'd like it somewhere at the bottom. Maybe that would look better. I can also just trim it a bit with my scissors so that I can have it sent in two parts and I think that looks much better instead of having it on top. So I'll glue that down here Okay I'm seeing new names Hi Cassie, Madhurima Glad to have you guys here And I'm going to keep this part To see where I want to glue it down a little later But back to adding my fronds so that can go there and a few peeking through okay I have 15 minutes so it's just about layering basically I think I like that there 
and again I'm just going to hold this so I know where I want the dragonfly and the flowers to go And the same ones on vellum. Oh, the green, Karen, the green is Lindy's. I've used Lindy's sprays, Luscious Line and Bells of Ireland Green. And that's exactly what I was saying that my having added the acrylic paint as the base helps green stand out, but also lets the acrylic paint, the yellow and the gold pop up. No worries, Kasi. Happy to have you here. So these are the vellum fronds, which I'm just going to add in between for nice transparent layers there. I think I can go back in with this leaf and push it down underneath here. That will look good there. Just getting it all down in place basically. And just one more I think I'd like to have. Okay. White frond popping through there thank you guys i'm glad i'm, I'm also quite liking how it's looking so far I'm not sure if I'm going to finish. I'm a little slow today. I think I'm, yeah, just a little slow. So I'm, I'm taking it easy and working at my own pace. Usually I'm like, okay, I need to finish it. I need to finish it. But today I'm just taking my own time, relaxing and chilling with it. So even if I don't finish it on time, I'll definitely have just a few things left. So I'll do that and add it up there so I also want to see how this colored flower is going to look there and I think it's going to be really beautiful already love how those colors go together so I think that would be perfect for my colored flowers and I can add the dragonfly there of course um, I need to still color the dragonfly and I'm going to be using the ginger sparks but I think I'll first give it a color because like now I want to bring in this bit of teal on top and the green as well so i think what i'm going to do is going back with the little lemon first for the yellow a little bit, a little bit more of the yellow and pastel And I'm not covering the entire dragonfly, just a little bit. And I lift it off with my baby wipe so that it's a light layer.
don't worry Cassie every everybody's um, stream is going to be on the channel which will be there for replay so you don't have to worry at all and now I think I'll use which one is this peacock peacock wax color to bring in that green teal blue and I love how it's merging so I like that effect and what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more of the yellow so that I get that double tone shade instead of the prominent peacock so let me push this aside and highlight with the wax Before me, Cassie was Katya and she created a stunning, uh, rusty canvas. Before that, Olga created a vintage nest clock that was really good. I missed Anya's. Um, Belinda had a nice masculine explosion box sort of a card, which was again brilliant. So today, it's it's good to see these different things no theme no theme saturday and it's interesting to see what everybody is creating so look at that dragonfly it looks really 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 amazing with my colors here thank you crystal and i know that the dragonfly has those steampunky vibes but i was like it's okay i can't be bothered i like it and I'm going to use it. So I'm using some vintage gold to highlight some of that texture. Just a little bit. And I'm going to use the Ginger Magic Sparks because that, like I told you, is my favorite, favorite, favorite shimmer element. So I'm just dabbing some with my finger, bringing in that shine and shimmer and that's it that does the trick so here's a look at that dragonfly i think it's visible yes and now I can come back onto my canvas and I like it there that way. So I'm going to first glue down my flowers with tacky glue. Of course I'm going to add some what are those micro beads um, you know the beads that I used from the flower making thing I call them micro beads and for this dragonfly I need to use the glossy gel otherwise it's not going to glue down there onto my flowers so I'm just going to add a little lump of it and press it down there little on its tail so it stays glued onto the wooden bark and it literally doesn't start flying out of my canvas I'm just going to hold it down there and it works I think that looks good I just wanted to add this vellum front for that transparent effect down somewhere here. So I'm just going to add glue and squeeze it in there. I quite love how the white pops up. 
and I have five minutes. Kind of done here. Um, just deciding where I want this one. Okay. So next up is Alexandra in the hop, and Nitish will put down her link there. Of course, I also have left links in case you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, yeah, I just find Facebook very, very tiring, very boring. I don't even know why. But it's just very, very boring for me. Although that link is down there too. And next, so what I'm going to basically be doing is adding some micro beads which I'll show you also I actually have this I have this glittery leafy thing from 13 arts it's gold and I think it's going to bring out that glitter that I want so I may not then I, I don't have to add the micro beads I can actually add this cut it into parts and just poke it through so that brings in the shimmer and the element so that's exactly what I'm going to do and of course it needs a sentiment so I'm going to do that thank you so much thank you Madhurima thank you Nikki thank you Masterji thank you Mary um, yeah, Mary Karen Fro Carolyn okay New York Freestyles what's your name please I don't know if you've said this before and I'm so sorry but I'd like to know your name and I'd hope to remember it uh, thank you, Sonika. Great to have you. Oh, Terry. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I'm glad she likes it. Also, Terry, send me your address. I'm still going to try and ship it to you once the postal services resume. Thank you, Cindy, Jeshree, Sky Blue. Everybody, thank you so much. Not so green, right, Olga? I'm glad. Yeah, not, I mean, it was more lemon yellow, a little green. And that's why this technique works really well with the acrylic and then the Lindy sprays. Of course, like I was saying, I'm going to... Yeah, thank you, Nitish, of course. Uh, Vasilis, thank you. I'm so glad you could join. I'm so happy uh, to see so many new people thank here on the live stream today. Thank you, Mary. Um, yeah, it, it makes me so happy. So many new people this week. I'm glad you all could join and next time cake okay you know if if you guys tell him next time cake he's going to tell me to bake it so that's me I have to do it <laughs> for the next time cake oh Laura no worries thank you so much um, you can always watch the replay and in two minutes I have two more minutes so just head out thank you crystal thank you so much crystal and and Nikki and Nunu and thank you Karen and Tiffany for starting these Saturday hops because weekends have become so much fun and I think we all quite enjoy chatting and hopping with each other. Thank you Namtadi. Thank you Masi Masurji. Everybody thank you so much. Uh, thank you Jiju. Thanks mom. Yeah. Thank you Sara and Martha and Tanya and everybody. So I'm going to end it here and let's hop on over to Alexandra's channel. See you all there. Bye.